St. Vincent de Paul making sure that children and their families did not go without today. Anam Siddiqui explains. From packing up food boxes to giving away gifts, every year hundreds of Baton Rouge residents and volunteers spend their Christmas day at St. Vincent de Paul. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You're getting, this is Miss Claus serving you today. You see, we're sharing the Christmas spirit here at St. Vincent de Paul. Everything from a hot traditional Christmas meal to toys for the children. Giving back on Christmas Day is a no brainer for the organization. President and CEO Michael Acaudo says their need has increased because of the coronavirus pandemic. You know, we've seen a lot of people for the first time. We've seen a lot of people that typically hadn't had to come to St. Vincent de Paul. We had to wrap over 3,000 toys. Frances Johnson is a volunteer for five years now. She comes back every year to see the children smile. I'm always happy to be able to help somebody else. And this to ensure that each kid will get toys for Christmas. I feel Merry Christmas and I feel grateful. Giving back is their priority, but it hasn't been easy this year. It takes the support of the community, you know. Um, you know, everything we buy that's not donated costs more too. 200,000 meals. You got a plate yet? That's the total number of meals the organization will serve by the end of the year. We open our hearts and our minds and uh, really try to make a difference. Anam Siddiqui, NBC Local 33 News. There's still a big need to help the homeless in our area. We've teamed up with St. Vincent de Paul and others to collect basic necessities like soap, toothpaste, and other items. You can find more information on BR.